Well, hello there. It's Saturday morning and it is still overcast. It's not raining, but it's a little windy and um, definitely a lot of leaves have come down. The yard is full. There was a lot in it before, but now it's really full. But anyways, today uh, my husband and I are going to be going to my youngest son's house with his girlfriend to meet her mom and her stepdad. So I need to bring dessert and I'm going to bake a chocolate cake, gluten-free chocolate cake. And I forgot to do something yesterday. Because I can't make the cake, so I do it. And that's to go to Duran Farms and get my milk. Because the recipe calls for a little bit of milk. So I'm gonna go to I was just waiting for them to open up. I believe they open up at 10. She might have opened up at 9, but I didn't want to chance it. So I just waited till 10. I'm going to scoot and do that now. And then I'm going to make my cake. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you in a little while. Well, we are heading out to uh, my youngest son's place to have dinner with his girlfriend. And we're meeting her her mother and stepfather. So that should be a good time. I'm not going to vlog there. Anyways, not for the first meeting, but I hope everyone has had a good day and will have an even better Saturday night. Talk to you soon. Well, good morning again. It's Sunday morning. Happy Lord's Day. Yeah, I just let my girls out because we're going to be leaving pretty soon. My husband's going to a little church, well, my, me and my husband, um, a little farther south of us. Um, he will be preaching there today. They are currently looking for a new pastor, so they uh, have a schedule to come back again next month for two Sundays and to stay for dinner afterwards. That'll be fun. But anyways, um, I just want to check in and say hello, and can't see it right now. But right before I turned on my camera, the sun was peeking through. Real sunshine. The first I have seen since Wednesday and today's Sunday. So, hey, that's really good news. But anyways, I hope you have a really good day. And I will check back with you later. And God bless. Let's see that the sun is shining. It's so nice. Look at those girls trolling out there. My goodness, look at them. What you guys doing? Whoops, kind of getting behind a tree, aren't they? There we go. What you doing, Mindy Lou, Toodaloo? Just enjoying the sunshine, I think. Oh, here they come. Those are my girls, Missy May and Mindy Lou. There she is. Here's Missy May. There she is. Where's Mindy Lou? Hide behind a bush. Come on, girls. Come on. Good girl. There's my girl. What you doing? I'm going to prepare a Bible study. Mm. How fun. The power of God. Interesting, huh? Yep, but I just heard a sermon on that. Mm, it was your sermon. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you haven't forgot so soon. You just don't know from her. <laughs> you never can tell. Huh? Missy, you want to sing? You going to sing? Come on and sing. Sing for everybody. Come here. Come here. Come and sing. Good girl. Good girl. Pretty singing. Missy going to sing. Going to sing and go, praise the Lord. Missy needs to be in the... Chorus. She needs to praise the Lord. Ready singing, Missy. Ready singing. 
We're going to enjoy some ice cream. You are very nice, but I know. Look at that bowl. Hopefully my camera can focus in on that because I don't know if I can eat all that. That's enough for three people. I'm looking at your bowl, not mine. I'm looking at my own bowl. Yes, I am. And Mindy Lou is begging. Yeah. That's a lot of ice cream. But thank you. You're more than welcome. I didn't want to have want you to have to ask for seconds. Oh, okay. Okay. What a generous gentleman. Well, hello. It's late here. It's Sunday evening, and um, I just wanted to take a moment to uh, tell you a little bit about my day. I wanted to share with you something that my husband preached on this morning, and it was on the power of God, but and how we need it as believers in Christ, as followers of Christ. Um, we need the power of God in our lives. And one of the things he said is, we need the power of God in our lives. We need the power of God in our families. We need the power of God in our church. And it starts with each individual life because if it's in each individual life then it will be in the family and if it's in the family then it's going to be in church and if it's in the church then guess what it's going to be in our community and I you know it's, it's that trickle-down effect and it all starts with me you one person us living our lives with the power of God in it. And he, he talked about it's not human wisdom that helps us through our life, but it's only by the power of God that we can get through each day. And I just think that's so true because there are some days that just can be very difficult Things can happen, situations can come up, pressure, financial pressure, people in our family get sick, uh, hurt, needs that come up, and the pressure can, can really weigh heavy. And we do, we need the power of God just to get through each day. And when he said that, I thought, you know, there's been times in my life that I need the power of God just to get through this moment because this moment is hard. And I just wanted to share that with you because I just thought that that was just, it's one of those things that, yeah, we probably already knew, but sometimes it's like we never really looked at it that way. Or maybe it's just never been really revealed clear enough to us. I don't know. But that's what I was having as I was listening to my husband is these kind of like moments of clarity, like, oh, okay. And, and I'm going to leave you with this because I think sometimes we think of the power of God and we think of great things. We don't think the little things in our own lives. That's why I want to leave you with this. God used a shepherd boy, David, to give Israel victory over his enemy. God used Moses' staff to separate the waters to save God's people from Pharaoh's army. And he used that same staff to close the waters so that Pharaoh's army couldn't get to him. And he chose the cross to save the whole world. What some people think is insignificant He's actually very powerful. And the verse that he used in Zechariah chapter 4 was in verse 10. When he said, Who has despised the day of small beginnings? And then when he said, Not by might.
nor thy power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. That's what we have to look to, to live each day, the power of God. And as I told you before, if we want to be good representatives of Christ, then we need to live each day with the power of God in our lives so that we can be salt to a thirsty world. Because if we make people thirsty for Christ, when they see our lives. Anyways, that's what I want to live, leave you with. It's kind of a lot to think about, but I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And as always, life happens. Enjoy it. And remember to love and to laugh each day. God bless.